It's really popping off. It's, it's getting the message across really well. I'm sure any day now we'll stop using oil. Is the resub eggnog. What is that going to do for them? We've gone over this before when they threw tomato soup on that other painting. Uh, we'll go over it again. The idea behind it is get their name in the headlines. Hopefully people will look at the message and be like, all right, I'll support that. That doesn't happen, obviously. All people do is they see the headlines like, wow, bunch of fucking lunatics. I'm going to ignore the message. Also, the Just Stop Oil movement is backed by an oil heiress. I forgot her name. But she helped finance this movement. An actual oil heiress. So I'm pretty sure this is like a PSYOP or like a false flag operation to try and make climate activists look insane. What was her name? I think it's like Giddy? Gritty? Well, it's probably not Gritty. Giddy? It starts with a G, though. I know that. I can't remember who it is, though. But it's an oil heiress who backs it. Oh, there it is. Getty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getty. Eileen Getty. Hey, Caleb. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks the Bits Heart Cart in the Prime Stretch. Terrorist organization. All right, let's not get carried away. Right now, their terror attacks consist of throwing tomato soup and mashed potatoes on paintings. Both of which were behind glass, so they didn't actually damage them. They just made themselves look super stupid. I wouldn't necessarily call them terrorists. Who's recent? Taikoi? What is throwing... P I just said it. I'll say it again. At the top, it is backed by an oil heiress. I believe the idea is get them to do stupid stuff so that way people ignore the climate change messaging. But the people at the bottom don't know that, so they go around doing shit like this thinking that it'll convert people to their side. Throwing tomato soup and mashed potatoes on paintings does nothing against climate, control uh, climate change. It, it does nothing to help further their goals. It's worthless, but they're convinced that if they get their names in the headlines enough for stupid shit like this, for some reason people will join them, which the opposite is happening, obviously. If they really wanted to do something to, like, directly try and impact it, I don't know why they wouldn't target the actual oil companies or something. Like, instead of just blocking the interstate for normal working people... Why not block the driveway to one of their houses or some shit? Or block the exit to one of their factories or some shit? It's just very clearly just a little... False flag's probably not the right term. But it's very clearly designed to be stupid in order for people to just disregard the, the message. Thanks to the resub mobster and the prime pathogen proxy and the tin gift subs keto. Thanks again, keto. Appreciate the generosity. Thanks to the gift sub Atlanta. Thanks to the prime botched.
play the video. It's not a very interesting video, but sure, here. It's exactly what you expect. They throw mashed potatoes and then super glue their hands to the wall. That's it. So powerful. Yeah, so it just preaches for a while. Like, and the thing is, I don't think anyone would disagree with the actual message, right? I think anyone with any semblance of a brain recognizes that there is a bit of a climate problem going on. You know, this whole climate change ain't great. But throwing tomato soup and mashed potatoes on a painting to try and get attention just immediately makes people write you off. So you do the opposite of helping. It's just dumb. It's super dumb. But it's purposefully dumb because, again, they're backed by an oil heiress. Blocking traffic is the worst thing. I don't know if Just Stop Oil blocks traffic. They might. I know it might be Extinction Rebellion that does it, but for some reason, some of these groups block traffic for normal people. So then it's just working people that are significantly late to work because they were blocking traffic to get their message across. Everyone that was late now immediately writes them off and will always go against them 100% of the time. It's just fucking worthless. It's super dumb. Oh yeah, they blocked an ambulance once too. I remember that one. That was Extinction Rebellion, I'm pretty sure. Here's the prime coke and the Risa veggie Frank and the bits axle. You see, people are mad that IGN gave Ring of Power an eight, eight out of ten. They gave Rings of Power an 8 out of 10? That does sound awfully generous, but... I don't think it's, like, alarming. I didn't think it was very good. I know most people didn't. It's just kind of a boring show, but... I don't really care that IGN gives it something high. It was a prime BF. Some people glued themselves to a road here in England today. I saw that. That, well, actually, it might not have been the one I'm thinking of. I don't even know where I'd find the video. I'll just describe the video instead of trying to search for it because there's so many of these now. One of those road blocking protests, I'm pretty sure it was just stop oil. One of them super glues their hand to the road and then throws the empty super glue into the, the storm drain next to them. So these fucking idiots are actively doing their best to continue to pollute shit while preaching for the opposite. Brain dead hypocrite. Unreal. You know, actually, I will find the video. Hold on, it shouldn't be too hard. It was like the front page of Reddit two days ago. Give me a sec. What was it called? Mm. Oh, here it is. <laughs> fight in the good fight. Good work out there. Just stop oil, am I right? Uh, that's how we do it. Righteous soldier. <laughs> 